the Director General of National Agency for Food and Drug Administration Control, NAVDAC, Professor Mojisola Adeyeye, has said that locally manufactured indomies are suitable for human consumption and is generally regarded as safe. However, it still needs to be tested first to make sure that a dangerous chemical known as ethylene oxide is not present in it. She also made mention of avoiding too much of additives added to food, and excess salt in food could lead to hypertension and is also carcinogenic to the human health. Please guys, watch this video. Do not forget to like and share so that others can also benefit from it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Indomil has been on prohibition list. It's federal government prohibition list. It can be found on customs uh, website. Uh, from being imported, it's been prohibited from being imported for many years. And the goal is to encourage local manufacturing. And we have registered several companies that make noodles, including the duffel that you, that you included in your news. And we have deemed those noodles safe. You know, we give uh, two years, five years registration to companies. But because of that, we normally do post-marketing service intermittently to ensure that what we approved is what is in the market, to ensure that there is no infiltration from another source that was not registered. And when we got this news, we got into action. NAVDA got into action immediately. Uh, it came during the break. Uh, the long weekend, but on Tuesday, our staff went to the different companies. That is the food safety and applied nutrition. Went to the different companies to take samples of the noodles and the spices. Our post-marketing surveillance directorate also went into the market because that is our routine activities anyway. But because of this news and the ethylene oxide that has been implicated, has been found in the Malaysian noodles uh, and Taiwanese noodles, we decided that we're going to make sure that whatever we are sampling, we take into the lab. And our lab is working feverishly right now to develop a method. First of all, uh, let, me, let us be frank, uh, we import almost everything. Our reagents, and this takes a while. So I've been in touch with the laboratory director in Oshodi, and they're in the process of ordering the chemical or two chemicals actually that we need reagents that are not available here. But we are committed to make sure that the ethylene oxide, if it is present, is identified and our people, our population is protected. That is our commitment. It is day and night. That is what we breathe as NAVDA to ensure right. that what you and I eat, I'm part of the consumer. Mm. Um, so I don't divorce myself from what we do. Will I be able to eat noodles confidently myself? <laughs> I want to test it. That is science. We are science driven organization. And uh, I believe that in a few days we will get results and our population will be well informed. You know, reassuring to hear that you are uh, on top of it and will get results sooner uh, than later. Well, does NAVDAC have a list of other food substances that may not be uh, wholesome for Nigerians to consume? Because uh, uh, not a few people were surprised to hear from Malaysia and Taiwan about this uh, special uh, chicken noodle. And uh, to them, to Nigerians, it seems that NAVDAC is not exactly proactive uh, in that instance. Do you have other lists of unwholesome food? Uh, which ones can you really tell us? NAVDAC is actually very proactive uh, in terms of uh, post-marketing surveillance. In fact, as I'm speaking, we are expanding post-marketing surveillance. The head of service knows about that because we need more staff. Uh, we are a huge organization, and it is staff that goes to this, that will go on the streets 
and start doing surveillance. Uh, but we have, that is about uh, the staffing. In terms of other foods, you know, I'm a, I'm a uh, what do I call it? Uh, diet buff, so to say, meaning I eat so that I don't take so many medicines. Meaning I watch what I eat. We have uh, NABDAC and Your Health every week, and we have uh, jingles in terms of chemicals that you should not add to your food, including salt. Too much salt kills the heart. Too much salt kills the heart. So that is as simple as we all can identify with salt. But talking of other additives in food, we go with standards. We just don't wake up and say, oh, we're going to limit this on our own. We are part of the FAO, WHO, Codex Alimentarius, where standards are set for the allowable maximum of a particular additive in foods or in other food-related products. And that is what we go by. That doesn't mean that a chemical can kill you that is supposed to be in food. For example, when a drug company is trying to add non-active ingredients to a medicine formulation, that non-active ingredients must be generally regarded as safe, meaning it has been used in foods over and over and over. Right. But despite the fact that it's been used in food, it has to be, there must be a limit and we work with the limit. Let me, the let most me. important thing is to make sure that additive or we don't use too much chemicals. We have, we have uh, local spices. Is there a ban on any category of noodles or indomie by NAVDAC at the moment? There is no ban by NAVDAC. It, the, the ban was by the federal government many years ago to encourage local manufacturing. There is no ban that is related to noodles or to the noodles in Taiwan or Malaysia. NAVDAC did not ban any noodle. Noodles have been banned for many years, even before my time. Uh, that is why we only have locally manufactured noodles registered by NAVDAC. I hope I answered your question. What you're saying, just for emphasis, you're saying that what is manufactured locally, the indomie, the noodles manufactured in Nigeria are wholesome and safe for Nigerians to consume. But can you guarantee that you're even carrying out further tests on the locally manufactured uh, indomie? You see, I will tell you that the noodles that we have registered, locally manufactured noodles are safe. However, science is not static. Science is dynamic. When we heard of what happened in Taiwan, we said, okay, we're going to, for precautionary measure, we're going to examine what we have in Nigeria for ethylene oxide. That is making sure that there is nothing like that or there is nothing, no infiltration or smuggling of noodles into the country. That is part of what we do in post-marketing. So I can assure Nigerians that what we register, the noodles that we register, and it's only it's not just Indomie. We have many comp several companies that make noodles, and those are the companies that we have, we have sampled their products for testing. But they are safe. However, for precautionary measure, we have to check that ethylene oxide is not there.